Hey guys, Brad from Team Crimson here with Deacon, also from Team Crimson. Even though we are so close, we are so, so far away. <laughs> so far away. Yeah, so, uh, nope, this is, we're going to be talking about today's stream and next day. <laughs> Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the Vanguard stream that just happened a little bit ago, uh, where next stage, some Gear Chronicle cards were revealed, and a Neo Nectar card that no one cares about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Alright, right, yeah. Uh, you want to yeah, read so this Neo Nectar card, right? It's grade 2 from the trial deck. It's got 10k base, 5k shield, like all grade 2s that Force have, because Force. Um, it is Blossoming Maiden, uh, a foreign name, because it's Sela. Sela, something like that, I think. I don't know. Um, it's Plant. That's all I know. <laughs> um, it's Skill. Continuous Rearguard Circle. If you have a unit with the same card name as your Vanguard on Rearguard Circle, this unit cannot be retired by card effects and gains power plus 5. That's kind of nice against uh, um, board control clans that are... God damn it. Okay, against board control clans that are not... Um... <laughs> Sorry, yeah, so we're recording this over Skype, and it's hooked to my phone, and notifications pop up. So my email just popped up, something about Zales. Uh, but it can't be retired by, like, Kagero and other clans, aside from Narakami, that just bind it. Uh, and then Act, Vanguard, Rearguard Circle, Cost, you counterblast one. It's a is a very overcosted cost, by the way, Neon Actor players, in case if you were agreeing with me, uh, to call up to two plant tokens. You get to counterblast one to call two. Two. And they gonna complain. <laughs> They're like, it should call one. And then free power plus gazillion. I mean, I don't know. Um, so They're regular yeah. plant tokens, though. So they're not 10k buffs. Maybe that's what they're complaining about. <laughs> definitely be played in uh, in standard for sure, but like uh, in premium, not too sure. Um, again, because not really too sure about the interactions with Katrina, and not too sure about how um, again, yeah, how you're saying it might be too overcosted for premium. Um, that's how they'll view it. I'm just. I'm not 100% on that. I'm saying that's how they will. Honestly, though, I would play this one over the grade. Uh, I mean, not over. I'd probably play it with the grade two that you just ride or call and get a free plant token. Because it's one compared to you get two off of this for a counter blast, which isn't terrible. And I don't think they use a whole lot of counter blasts, but I don't know. You might no, be a new nectar player out there shaking your head. That's the whole point is that they're, you know, they, they want to, you know, have stuff that's free. So. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get into the good stuff. Um, so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's talk about Spear Dragon, um, the grade two that came out. Um, awesome art, by the way. Yes, he looks pretty um, cool. I ain't gonna lie about that one. He's obviously grade two, 10k body, uh, auto vanguard, rear guard, when it attacks a vanguard, this unit gets power plus five until end of that battle. And if you rode a grade four this turn, uh, you can still blast one and draw a card. Um, also, continuous rearguard circle. If your vanguard is Chronojet Dragon, when you would discard a card from your hand, it may be discarded as a grade three. So it effectively turns anything you discard, even a trigger, into a grade three um, so that um, you can actually do your pseudo stride and stuff like that in the next stage and stuff. So Yeah, um, I like that. I also like the ability to draw a card. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I find it quite good. I like the idea of being able to draw a card. Um, I think this is a definite four of, um, and I think, uh, you know, you'll still be playing this in conjunction with uh, that Steam Fighter or Cobb or whatever for uh, the Rebellion deck. Uh, that can be counted as a grade three as well. And you can, so you've got a bunch of cards that are able to actually count um, as uh, the stride cost. Um, yeah. So that's very, very important. Yeah, uh, the good part is you can call it and just 
and discard anything for free. So if you're if you're needing your combo pieces in hand, it's literally there to help you. And you've got an extra dude on board that can swing for 15k and all that type of stuff. So uh, no, that's that, I think it's a whole last draw card. That's nice. <laughs> it, it's helpful. Oh yeah. Um, okay, so it's it's a uh, super solid on, card. Yeah, it's it's a good card. And uh, moving on to uh, Chrono Dragon next stage, which is the one we all care about. Um, so he's grade four twin drive, uh, 15k body. Uh, auto Vanguard Circle, at the end of the battle, uh, that it attacked a Grave 3 or Greater Vanguard if your soul has a Chronojet Dragon. Uh, cost, discard two cards from your hand, retire this unit, ride Chronojet Dragon from your soul as stand, and until end of turn, uh, that unit gets uh, power plus 15k, and you cannot ride. Yeah. It's, it's skills is pretty solid. Uh, Again, we were talking about it earlier. The literally the only problem with the skill is the grade three. That's like the only problem with it. Yeah, I don't I don't quite like that they decided for some reason to place a restriction on it. Um, I know that the people are going to be like, well, it's fine. They're balancing it and all this type of stuff. But I, I I mean, I really don't care. I would have preferred it just to be like right off the bat. I can just go and i know that's ass that might be asking a little too much but um it's just the fact that almost everything nowadays uh, can go um and do everything the deck needs to do right on the first ride so i don't like the limitations that they place on next stage so that's gonna kind of force the deck into um either you can't you can still play like four next stage and four jet and just do that uh, you can still just do that, and you can just swing with your uh, jet turn. Um, but like, uh, and and if your opponent did go first and was able to ride first and stuff like that, then you can go off right away. But um, um, you, you you might also be forced into a position where you might have to play uh, either Metallica Phoenix or something like that that you can actually stride in pseudo stride into. Um, off the bat as well. So yeah, that that that, that might be uh, like a reasonable thing to do because first stride uh, usually for gears is the setup turn. Um, uh, unless if you're rebellion, then it's like a da mother. Yeah. Da. Unless you're rebellion, you <laughs> and I just go off right now, and I'm just gonna yeah. you into the ground. Um, yeah. Uh, and I that that deck seems like it's designed to do that, where it looks like Chronojet is designed so far to plus and then go off. You plus and gain your uh, gain your cards, and you get some abilities that can go off, but then you go off after. But I don't know. It's pretty nice because even if you can't um, even if you can't go into him first turn, then yeah, like you were saying, you could um, you could play the Metallica Phoenix so that you yeah, have Metallica Phoenix, right? But you could yeah. play that just for triple drive right off the bat. I'm considering playing it at, as like a one of like a teched in copy. You don't yeah. want it to go away, but like. Um... Um, it's something that you could do, and uh, yeah, if if you just so happen to ride first and then go into Metallica and you've yeah. got triple drive right off the bat and you're plussing, so. Uh, and hell, you could you could use it in uh, in conjunction with the grade two, so you counter blast discard. Now you got quad drive right off the bat, uh, and then use it also with um, with either strobe scope to draw a card uh, and kill something, or the new dude to draw a card for free and gain plus five. So like you got options now. I just it sucks that he is restricted to um, yeah. to your opponent being a grade three. I mean you, we also see that with uh, the new alt mile though he's restricted to having an alt mile in soul. So that's kind of but that's also for the crit power. It's not just for the entire skill to go off. But yeah, that's I mean the, I I view that as a little bit different because I don't know alt mile um, with the new alt mile you're able to. Um, uh, I don't know. That's like a natural game progression type thing there. Whereas, yeah. like, whereas, as uh, with with next stage and with Jet, the way it is, is it seems like um, the deck is very reliant on next stage. So uh, Jet doesn't do a whole lot by himself. Um, so it, it it definitely relies on next stage, and that's why I was hoping that it was gonna. You know, I'm not. I'm not disappointed. I I sound like I'm being like 
disappointed at stuff. I'm not disappointed. I, st I still quite like the skill, and I will play um, Jet over Rebellion almost any day um, just because oh, yeah. uh, Rebellion's hardcore aggressive, but at the cost of your constantly getting rid of your stuff. Um, whereas Jet can be um, slightly less aggressive, if that makes any sense. Slightly less aggressive, but you're actually maintaining your plusing. So I like, uh, obviously, anyone like would like that more, I would imagine. So um, oh, yeah. actually, to maintain hand size is a, good, is a very important thing. So yeah, I don't know. I he he's good for going second or when your opponent hits grade three, but and um, I always second. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, with your luck. But then, then you'll get the card and you'll always be going first. <laughs> and you'll be like, that, all right, Metallica is my best friend. <laughs> yeah. But, oh. But, um, oh, uh, uh, during the stream as well, they did reveal um, for the MLB sets or whatever, they revealed um, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, a list as well. Yeah, for where there's, uh, I think it was two grade twos a grade one and then it looks like an order card maybe yeah there's a there's an order card and then obviously mlb is going to be in it um yeah uh you know clearly there's going to be a new blaster dark um they did say um something about uh the wingall brave um is going to be in it as well you know uh, brad i didn't hear that <laughs> it's going to be in it That's as well nice. and the order card so yeah so yeah. some new cards for Royal Paladin players to look forward to in the future as well. So. <laughs> Break. <laughs> Break. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited. For that. I say it more because I'm using rebellion right now. So I'm no, using the, so I'll, I'll be going in and I, I discarding all these cards. I've got this full, I, and I've got down to one card and I'm like, Break. we're down to no I've cards. I had to jump across the table and fight him. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, they, um, I know there was something about, um, they were gonna, next week, I think it is, they're revealing more on the, uh, Vanguard Zero English release date, uh, and more info on that. Uh, they're also revealing, um, if I was not mistaken, they did, they were talking about, uh, more tournaments and stuff that were canceled that were gonna be scheduled for May. Um, uh, but I, I have no idea. Um, I, I obviously am not fluent in Japanese, so I, I can't comprehend some of the stuff so i kind of just wait for other people to come out with it <laughs> you're not konnichiwa <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, all right yeah, but that's no. it for us guys um uh we will be back at you later uh we'll probably be doing some random videos since we're all on quarantine yeah. right now and i'm working on my quarantine beard Oh yeah, I was I was getting there too. <sighs> but I'm gonna Just... go mullet. <sighs> no. All right. Well, uh, we yeah. might. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Well, we might be able to record. Um, I don't know how everyone else in the group feels about it, but we might be able to record games like this. I don't know if it would work or what the the dealio with that would be, but we might be able to bring you guys games. I don't know. It depends well, on this recording stuff. <laughs> but, uh, that's going to be it from us, guys. And we'll, uh, we'll have some more videos at you coming later. So see ya.